So today we're going to talk more about trapezoidal domes and what it takes to build them. We're going to talk about trapezoids, which are these panels. That's how the name comes about. We're going to talk about how the math comes together so that we know before we build it that it's going to come together. And we're going to talk about something about the construction of it. So let's go inside and take a look at it. So here we are inside the dome. And I'm going to show you trapezoids that we're going to use to show you how easy it is to put these things together. I'm going to use rubber bands and I put some cup hooks into the trapezoids to make it work for us. So these are the three trapezoids I'm working with here. And this is the base trapezoid. Put that together here. I'm using rubber bands and hooks. See how it stands on itself. I have a little bit of an angle on the bottom to help that go together. And then we have a channel here, a bull nose here, and a cove joint here. And we slide that together and they come together quite easily. The critical thing in building a dome is that this line here is exactly the same as this line here, or very close. If anything, you want this line just a hair shorter. Now, you can tie it together like this when you uh, put the adhesive on, or you can use a staple gun I'm planning on using a staple gun to staple these into place next time I do it. So now I can unhook it from the table, which was my anchor to start with. I'm undoing this just to show you that once it is held together, it's as a unit, it's quite sturdy. <laughs> quite sturdy. Uh, must have forgotten a rubber band. So in watching the video again, I saw what rubber band was missing. So let's see if I can get it back together. So here we have it. We're back in tension. As you know, I left this bit of tension out of the last video and you saw what happened. But now it's all one piece. And again, with some care, because it's not solid, it's just held in tension by rubber bands. We can turn this to the side and you can see we have a nice shell now for use. Um, there is flex here. Watch what happens when I flex this a little bit. This can come up or go down. It's like a living bubble. And uh, until it gets fixed with adhesive and fasteners, it floats around. Now, when you're constructing it, you can do the same thing. You can move it around a little. Uh, but like I said, that's more later in a construction video. So this is the isosceles dome math path quickly revealed. The vertical arc of the isosceles dome is set at 60 degrees and dividing that by the desired number of panels gives us the first beta angle we need. The radius of the 60 degree arc is the dome's diameter, and the base length of each isosceles triangle is the width of each panel. If 10 sides up is decided, then 6 degrees is the beta angle of the panel's tilt inward. It is an accumulated factor for each level up. The second level is 12 degrees, the third level 18 degrees, etc. Using this width and these beta angles, we can determine how far the panels lean toward the center of each plane. The next isosceles triangle is on the dome floor, 
and is determined by 360 degrees divided by the desired number of sides in the horizontal plane. For example, 15 sides equals 24 degrees. Given the radius length of the floor and this angle, the base length of the triangle, which is the bottom length of our first trapezoid panel, is determined. As the top panel leans toward the center of the dome, it intersects the vertical plane of the radius at each end of the trapezoid, which determines its top length. We can determine the point of intersection by the A side of a right triangle and the beta angle of the intersecting line. The A side is the base of the lean-in triangle. The beta angle is the bisected isosceles angle. For example, 24 degrees is bisected to 12 degrees. Note that there will be an oculus at the top of the dome at level 9. So to fill in the oculus, the next panel can be made less wide or level 9 made wider to create the oculus dimension you desire. That's real quick. I hope you can find this useful. I'll study it or send me a note and I'll see if I can explain things more. If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe. That would be great. Any comments, I will do my best to answer them. Thank you.